I'm here at Bowmill Engineering Group in Poole. Uh, they recently purchased a Matsura MX330 5-axis uh, PC10 machine and it was so good they bought a second. Mike, the Bowmill Engineering uh, Group, uh, we're here at one of a few sites, aren't we? Can you tell us about the company? Yep, certainly. Um, Bowmill Engineering um, comprises of three businesses, three separate businesses. Um, we have Bowmill Engineering, which is sited here in Poole. We have Bowmill Metal Treatments that are sited in Poole, but three or four miles up the road. And we have Bowmill Tewkesbury, which are in Tewkesbury in Gloucestershire. Okay, some company, isn't it? I mean, I've, I've heard of the business before. In fact, I think we've been been here before but things are going well for you yeah absolutely the company started in 1970 and comprising of one small unit on this site and it's grown since then to um, uh, basically around 72,000 square feet of factory space over the three sites okay so what sort of parts are you making throughout the group then um, it's predominantly aerospace parts um, some parts for defense and some parts for marine but we're, we're mainly aerospace uh, people watching the video will have noted this machine behind you here. Uh, what instigated the purchase of this new Matsura MX330, Mike? Well, we needed to um, maintain our um, competitiveness. Five-axis machining is obviously the way to go. Uh, this particular machine, um, we'd seen, seen it in operation in other places, and so we decided that this was the way for us to go for the particular kind of work we do. Uh, has it proved to be successful for you? Yeah, absolutely. It's a fabulous machine. Um, you only have to look at it to see how well constructed it is. It's very solidly made. It's got a um, large trunnion for the size of machine that it is, and it can take 80 kilos on, on the actual trunnion. That far exceeds the kind of work that we do. Um, however, it, what it does give us is, is a great amount of solidity with the machine, so the, the quality and the tolerances we're holding are, are really impressive. Uh, some would always think of Matsura machines and that one of the first things they might think of is the speed. They might think they can get their parts off the machine quicker, which, which is true in a lot of instances. But that wasn't really the ambition for you, was it? It was more about what we're hearing a lot about, the unmanned activity. Absolutely. Um, obviously, you're still always trying to get the cycle time down as fast as you can. However, because the machine runs unmanned and you have 10 pallets, you can keep the machine going for long periods of time. It can run through the night. It runs all day long, tea breaks, lunch breaks. It doesn't need anybody most of the time near the machine. Um, we use the probing cycle um, on, on the parts of the machining at the moment, and that's giving us a positional tolerance of microns, three or four microns. Um, even when you rotate the part 180 degrees and flash both sides, it, it, the parallelism it's holding is down to microns. Uh, I'm sensing a bit of a, a habit uh, around engineers we're visiting with these machines and the same has happened here. You bought one and you just ordered another. Absolutely. Um, we've had this machine about eight months. Um, we've got another one being installed in our Tewkesbury site. It's, it's there now. It just hasn't been commissioned. Um, it's, a, it's a game changer because suddenly every part looks like a five axis part. We make lots of kit parts for A320, A330, and it would be very applicable, a machine like this. You could have 10 different parts on 10 different pallets. So let's have a look at one of the applications that you're actually doing here on the machine. Could you maybe pick up this part and talk us through how this uh, solution has helped you? Sure. Um, this is a part we're making um, currently on the machine. Um, previously, before we had this machine, it would have been a, probably a three, at least a three-op um, part. Um, maybe even four, but we're doing it in two operations. The vast majority of the work is done in the first stop to snap off, and then we have a small second operation just to take out the waste material. There's a lot of machining in this, there's a lot of features, isn't there? Absolutely, it's a complicated part, and the tolerances, uh, uh, there's, there's some very tight tolerances on it, and we've tightened them up even further to make our assembly easier and our further processes easier. But the machine is um, holding all the tolerances day after day, component after component. You wouldn't want to be doing this on lots of different machines, would you, moving it around? I mean, you could introduce so many possibilities of error. Absolutely. Because it's all done in one op, you know that the, the part, the, the integrity of the part is, is, is good and everything's going to come out the same each part after part. If we were doing it in three or four ops, there's all kinds of errors and you end up with blends and mismatches and things like that that, that 
affect the visual look of the part. You've been, you've been uh, thoroughly impressed with the machine itself and obviously what it's producing for you. What about Matsura as a company and how they have supported you uh, during the purchase of, what is your first machine from them? Yeah, Matsura have been excellent. They, um, they, they've given us um, terrific support on the training, um, the, uh, the programming, any problems we have, they're at the end of the la phone and we phone them up and they respond very quickly. They've been, they've been very good.